This is a small demo of how you can use some of the capabilities in Windows Server 2008. For example, in this case, uh, using the terminal services capabilities and the remote application publishing capabilities with that uh, come with Windows Server 2008 to publish the Microsoft Dynamics AX client. So I'm looking at the end result here, which is a uh, website. It's the simple out-of-the-box website with um, terminal services that you can see that we've got um, some applications published here and what this means is that I can actually click on this um, and it'll start a remote application uh, publishing session essentially a terminal session in to use that application so if I for example log on as that uh, user uh, in this case uh, Sammy for example um, you'll see that the application in this case Microsoft Excel is started but to the user it looks like just another application on the desktop so we can use these capabilities to actually publish the Microsoft Dynamics AX client as, as well through terminal services so if I jump into the administration tools and if I jump into terminal services we have the remote uh, application manager here so if I start that up you'll see I've got the capability to administer the terminal services and one of the things that I can do here is add a remote application program so if I start this up it gives me a small wizard to select existing program so on this uh, terminal server I've got of course the Microsoft Dynamics AX client installed so I can um, simply select that client and um, uh, finish it off in terms of see the application um, settings that are going to be published here so if I click finish you'll see that this is the list of applications that are actually published as a remote application so if I go back to that website the TS um, remote application publishing website and I'll just refresh it here you'll see that I now have the Microsoft Dynamics AX client uh, published um, so I can actually click on that and uh, start that up so if I can log on here for example as uh, Sammy um, you'll see that it'll start a terminal session um, and actually start the Microsoft Dynamics AX client. Now because of course we're logging on as Sammy, you'll get Sammy's of course role center because we're actually running that application and if you see on the taskbar here you'll see that the client says remote and this is the remote uh, session. So um, if I close that out, um, if I log on to Sammy for example, um, I've got Sammy's uh, desktop here um, you'll see I've logged on to Sammy as, a, as another session. Now what this means is, is that um, Sammy can modify, for example, because Sammy's the, uh, the shipping and the receiving guy who works down in the warehouse, he may need to get into the Microsoft Dynamics AX client to do advanced function, but typically he might just use the enterprise portal. So what he can do um, and work with the IT guys to do is uh, edit the existing role center page for example and from here I can add of course uh, web parts so I might go down to the bottom here and add a web part down the bottom of his web page now of course through the uh, web parts that you have available in standard SharePoint you have the ability to use the uh, web page uh, viewer web part or if you want to get a little bit more technical of course you can take that ActiveX control which is what's actually publishing um, that remote application list um, I can actually um, publish those onto Sammy's uh, SharePoint page okay so if I find the web uh, page viewer web part and I'll add that to the uh, Sammy's role center page here so this is the page entered of course I need to configure the part now if I go back to the administrator console that I was on before and I'll just uh, copy the uh, URL here um, and then go back to Sammy session and I'll just paste the URL into the address bar for the, for the web part and simply accessing the web address of where that um, uh, terminal services web access is, is publishing those applications so I might change the layout a little bit um, and um, just make the height of that part a little bit bigger so I'll make that eight um, uh, centimeters for example just so that I can see it so I'll just accept that and I'll just say OK and I'll just exit the um, page that I've set up here so if I scroll down you'll see that I've got the full um, terminal services web access page and you'll see that I've got the remote applications published here for example so I can from the role center now click on uh, the Microsoft Dynamics AX client and of course start it up and this will um, 
allow me to log on as um, the users that have access to the uh, application. So if I log on there, this will of course start the terminal session and you'll see that on Sammy's desktop that he's um, actually got the client running and a client is actually running through a terminal session. So it, it just shows you how you can combine some of the distribution uh, technologies, for example, with the role center, uh, with, for example, terminal services to present, you know, the, the best sort of experience for the users to get access to the application. Of course, refer to the standard sort of uh, performance and, and benchmarking on how to deploy the client because it is the client running over a terminal session, uh, for example. But um, it's, it's an interesting capability, enables you to, you know, broaden the reach of how users can get access to the business application.